Are you going camping this weekend? The Division of Wildlife Resources wants to remind you you're sharing the woods with bears. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay has that story. As many head out to kick off the summer camping season, a warning from DWR. Utah is black bear country and during drought years in particular, we'll sometimes see an increase in conflicts with bears. Black bears, Utah's only species of the big furry creatures, could be a little more visible, like this one that recently wandered right onto a middle school campus in Morgan. They're not looking to attack people, you know, that's kind of not their normal food source, obviously. But yeah, they, they will obviously eat what people will eat. So that's kind of why we're reminding people just be aware of that and just maybe take some extra precautions this summer um, to, to prevent some of these potential conflicts. Like putting food away, cleaning up campsites and cooking areas. Their normal diet basically is any kind of plants, a lot of root like vegetation. So obviously those are those are things that are going to be impacted during drought when we have less water. So yeah, they kind of are more open to other food options. Dispatch got a call about from somebody at the old Pioneer Cemetery that they had they saw a bear there and they were concerned for the safety of the public. Chief Aaron Broomhead says just last week in Ephraim, not far from Snow College, this black bear was spotted. He wanted to go back east to the mountain and we just provided a, a safe passage for him to get across 89 and and to go back up farther up east. Police, DWR and a few area residents helping herd him across Highway 89 back toward the mountains. The biggest concern that, that the community has is, is it safe and, you know, making sure that kids out, out and about are, are not in any danger. And the chief says there's no reason to believe the bear will wander back, saying this was a very unusual event. Yeah. In my uh, 23 years of law enforcement, I've never, that's the first time I've ever had a call regarding a bear. If you happen to go face to face with one, DWR had this advice. Just kind of stand your ground, remain calm, um, and just give the bear a chance to leave. Typically, they're they're not looking for a fight. Um, and so you, if, you're, if you're kind of calm and just staying there, then they're going to move away. And if they do attack, she says, fight back. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. DWR says you should only report bear sightings to their office when you see one actually acting aggressively or causing damage or when they come into town or residential areas.